What is up everyone and welcome back to another video and if you're seeing this on the day that I'm recording this, hopefully I upload it on the same day, but if you're seeing this on the day that I'm recording this, then you are seeing this on the day that The Flood has actually been released in theaters. It's our latest alligator slash crocodile flick and I'm I'm kind of excited to see it. I don't think it's going to be the best movie, but who knows, I'm, I might get I might get some enjoyment out of it, so I'm definitely going to try to track it down and watch it afterwards, because, you know, I, I, I do really want to see it. Plus, I'm doing this video in honor of it, so why not, but yeah, in honor of that film's release, today I'm actually going to be doing another collection video, and of course for this collection I'm going to be showing off my alligator slash crocodile flicks. Now, a few things we have to go over before I get into this. Number one, I, number one, I am still a little tired right now, guys, because, like, I, I just woke up, like, less, I think, like, less than an hour ago. And I, I did it this way because I'm currently alone in my house aside from my dogs because, you know, that would be the best time to go out there and show you guys movies on my DVR. Because there is one movie on my DVR that I'm going to have to show you guys as I technically have it due to it being on my DVR, but let's just say I, I did, I just, I just got up like not that, not that long ago. So if I do end up spat, if I end up saying a bit of gibberish, then that's why. But another thing, I want to thank you guys for all of your support on my Kion X Fully video. Cause like there, I'll tell you, like it was like four or five days of that, like hit a hundred views. And that is the shortest amount of time I've ever had a video hit 100 views by a long shot. Like, like I have never had a video just skyrocket like that. And in fact, I think it was less days than that that I like got to 80. Because, like, I remember just, like, checking it one day, then going to sleep, and then the next day I checked it, and it was at 80, and I'm like, holy crap, that didn't take long at all. And we started getting likes. We started getting uh, we started getting likes along with that. So, just thank you all. Thank you all for your support on that video. Cause like, wow, you guys blew my mind with your support on that. But man, also just a little thing to note. I will probably do an update to this video at some point in the future. Cause there are still several alligator slash crocodile flicks I still have to watch. The flood is one of them. Is one of the notable ones since. That's out in theaters right now, but there's also others like there is the more recent film titled Croc, and I'm saying the more recent film because we actually have another film titled Croc that I actually own on DVD, and I'll, I'll be sure to point it out as we go through this collection. But yeah, let let's just say that that film has piqued my interest, and I do want to watch it. So of course I'm going to be tracking that down at some point, and. Before I can ever do my top 10 sci-fi channel movies, I am, of course, going to have to watch Dino Croc. I, I, I need to watch that. It's just like, some for some reason, it was widely available on streaming services, but then it, like, somehow disappeared. So, uh, yeah, having to track that movie down is a actually a lot harder than I originally anticipated because of that. But either way, so yeah. Just note, you, you may see an update this video in the future just depending on how many more dvds i end up having but for now i think that's really it so i'm gonna go get my movie set up and then when i return we shall look at my alligator slash crocodile flicks all righty guys so here we are at my movie shelf and as i discussed a few minutes ago this is going to be the first video that i'm going to be doing where i'm actually going to be going out to my living room and showing you guys my DVR, because I do have one crocodile flick on my DVR, so pretty much I'm just going to be going box sets by DVD collections first, then going to be going shelf by shelf slash DVR last, so let's go ahead and pull the camera up here, this is first box set, and I I've already talked about this box set in my last video. So I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but I have this box set for Sci-Fi Channel's main year series. And this one includes Croc, I Had the Beast, and Grizzly Rage. And, of course, the one that we are going to be talking about is Croc. 
Yeah, and this is the movie I was talking about earlier, because, like, there's a Sci-Fi Channel film, part of their Man Eater series with this title, but there's also a more recent film that just came out that has the same title. Well, not exactly the same title, because it has, like, an exclamation point, but titles are essentially very similar, and you pronounce them both as just Croc. So, yeah, I, I did want to make it clear which one I was talking about, because it, it kind of blew my mind when I went to research this film, and I found it there. Are actually two with this name. But yeah, Croc, highly enjoyed this vid uh, video. <laughs> highly enjoyed this movie. Great effects, great characters. Just a fun little flick, and to tell you the truth, it really reminds me a lot of Lake Placid, actually. And, of course, it's actually next, because... Don't fall over here. Okay, there we go. I actually have a... Lake Placid 2 pack, and that includes Lake Placid and Lake Placid 2. And I'll tell you, I originally had both of these on my DVR. In fact, I had both of them on my DVR for a long time. But, like, let's just say, ever since I saw this 2 pack on eBay, I decided, why not clear out some space on my DVR? So, I went ahead and had them erased, and I bought this. But, I took kind of a gamble when I did that, because, like, the this 2-pack this is actually pretty rare. It's like, I, I just got lucky when I managed to find this one, and I just managed to just get, ugh, just kind of find it on a whim. But, yeah, so, but let's just say, I, I bought this specifically because I, because I enjoyed both of these movies, and in fact, they, in terms of the Lake Placid series, I'm like, I'm like 50-50 on it, because like, there's like three of the movies I don't like, but there's also three that I do like, and... These two are some of the ones that I like, like Lake Placid and Lake Placid 2. Lake, Lake Placid in particular is actually my favorite crocodile film. I really love this movie. Then Lake Placid 2, produced by Sci-Fi Channel. I, I've I've watched it constantly ever since I watched it on Sci-Fi Channel, and it it really isn't it really isn't bad. And it, it's one of the only Lake Placid sequels that has remained decent, like over the over the years, like throughout me growing up more. But yeah, I, I bought. I specifically bought this because you know I like both, and this I gotta have both. Okie dokie then. Then here. Now I, I am of course gonna leave a link to that video in the description below. But be sure to check out. Be sure to check out you and your horror movies video discussing his alligator slash crocodile film collection because I actually left a comment on that video talking about this particular disc collection. The two disc version of alligator because you know i i've bought a uk import before but for some reason that had like a weird filter thrown over it it was like a gray filter and i couldn't figure out how to get rid of it so i was kind of hesitant to buy this but he confirmed to me that it didn't have that filter so i just went ahead and bought it and this is actually the two disc version which includes alligator and alligator 2 the mutation and that, that's why I wanted to have this, because once again, it, it's cool to have both. But once again, that's a UK import, and I actually got lucky, and I just managed to find a version of that here in the US. Because, like, apparently someone paid me to take that off their hands, which is odd, considering how good Alligator is, but... Then we have this Water Monsters DVD collection, and on this one we have Blackwater right here. And this is a film I actually just recently watched, and it's actually, it was actually a really neat film. I actually really like it. One of the two Australian crocodile films that I've seen, and while I don't think it's the better of the two, it is really cool. It's a really, it's a really good film, and I highly recommend you check this out if you haven't. Okay, let's go ahead and put that up there. There we go. And now, on to... Regular DVDs. So first off, we have Blood Surf, an early Sci-Fi Channel flick. This is, this was actually pretty solid when I watched it. Like it, it started out kind of eh, but as the movie progressed, it just became more and more fun. Like this film was just it it, it progressively gets more fun and it's it's really cool. It, it's also got like a lot of practical effects, like it, which is pretty unexpected for Sci-Fi Channel because like. Most of them are either mostly CG with a little bit of practical, but 
This one was all practical. It even had like practical effects edited into some parts of it, which is really neat. So yeah, Blood Surf, really like that one. Then over here, of course we have Crawl, the alligator film from 2019. I, I have fond memories of this one because, like, I, I remember, like, I remember, like, wanting to see this in theater but never getting to. And then I we later found it at, like, the local local movie store when it was still here. And we rented it. We took it home. And we had some Domino's pizza with it. And it was a, it was a blast of a time. Really cool. Really cool Halloween. Really cool Halloween that year. Then here... We have Crocodile to Death Swamp. Now, this is a really interesting film because, like, this is the sequel to Crocodile. And it's kind of bizarre that I like this because, like, I I actually didn't enjoy Crocodile. Like, to me, like, it, it just had a lot of problems. Like, the characters were completely stereotypical. And then the, the CGI was just, like, wow. Because, I mean, like... A lot of sci-fi channel movies have bad CGI, but, like, this movie just took it to a whole nother level. Because it's, like, most of the time that sci-fi channel movies actually have bad CGI, at least the creature movements look fluid. Here, they just looked completely unnatural. And it was just, it, it just, it just took me out of the film. Which is, like, why? Like, why are you doing this? So, yeah, I didn't really enjoy Crocodile at all. But I decided to watch the sequel because, like, that was, like, one of the last main alligator slash crocodile flicks I hadn't seen. And surprisingly, I actually really enjoyed this one. And I, I think it's because the effects were actually utilized better because, like, it's the it's the same crocodile effects, but they're utilized much better because, like, this time the CGI actually looks like it could be something natural, which was really good. Really big improvement on the first one. It was also a really big improvement on the first one in terms of characters. Because, like, here you actually had some interesting characters, like a, like members of, like, a plane crash, like survivors of a plane crash. You've got this hunter. You've got bank robbers. It's, it's, it's just a fun little flick. And I, I really enjoyed this, actually, which, once again, caught me off guard since that's the sequel to Crocodile, which I didn't necessarily like. Ready? Got that reset. And... And here we have Dino Croc vs. Super Gator, one of my favorite sci-fi channel flicks. In fact, probably my favorite just because of how nostalgic this movie is. Because, like, I don't think I've ever told anyone about this movie, but, like, man, this was, this was like, my childhood when I grew up. Because, like, I remember back when we had family video back in Peru, Indiana, I remember finding this on a shelf and then going up to hopefully rent it, but then figuring out that it was actually a movie that you could buy and keep and I, I just went I just went nuts at that point because you know I was young and I didn't know that such things could exist but like the minute I heard that I'm like wow so I get to keep this and then I took it home and I watched it and it was just a it was just a blast and I watched this movie constantly ever since that and to be fair, this is actually my original DVD. Like, this is the DVD I bought. No one has a slipcover, but still, this is the original DVD. And I am never getting rid of this. Because, like, it was like Jurassic Park, Legends of Chima, and then this. That was my childhood. It's a, it's a really nostalgic movie for me. And it's actually, it's actually still really good when I watch it nowadays. So, yeah, say what you want about that. It's really nostalgic for me. And it's probably why I like it so much. Then here we have Killer Crocodile. Now this is this is like an a this was an Italian flick that that like I I heard like I heard was like really good and so obviously I wanted to try it out and so I bought it I watched it on DVD and it was actually it was actually decent it wasn't the best mind you but because like the the ending was a little goofy but. It was actually decent, and it was actually not bad. I actually really liked it. Not one of my favorites, but still. Then here's that other Lake Placid sequel that I was talking about that I enjoyed. That is Lake Placid Legacy. And I, I, I did not enjoy like Lake Placid 3, 
final chapter or Lake Placid versus Anaconda. That's why I'm probably never going to see those. But yeah, th- this one I actually this one I actually had a lot of fun with, and it, it's it, it's not the best movie by any means, but it's still actually a pretty decent little crocodile flick, and that's why I give it I actually give it some props. I actually give some props over that movie. You know, cause I, I tip my hat off to that movie because like it, it's a, it's actually decent. Like it's it's not as good as like Placid Two, but it's still pretty good. Then we have Mega Shark versus Crocosaurus. Yeah, this is just this is just go- goofy fun. That that's that honestly this is just this is just goofy fun. That's why I, that's why I bought it because you know like I, I I remember seeing this when. I think it was when it premiered on, on Sci-Fi Channel. I I could be wrong, but I remember seeing this on Sci-Fi Channel, and w- wow, <laughs> like wow, did I have a blast with it! And I, I I managed to track it down ever since then and bought it. But like, man, this is just 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 goofy fun. That's why that's why I like it. Righty, and then down here, I don't have many movies here. We have Primeval. And this was another crocodile flick that I actually watched here recently. Because, you know, it's one of the last mainstream killer croc flicks I actually didn't watch. And this one I actually got the last time I went up to that that vintage stock in Springfield. I actually managed to snag this. And I, I decided to buy it once again because, like, this is the last major crocodile flick that I hadn't watched. But, like, I, I was kind of mixed on this movie at first, but, like, when I actually watched it, it, it was actually not bad. It was actually a fun little time. I, I had I had fun with it. Okay, come on. There we go. And I'll tell you, it, 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 it did, like, completely show one thing, because, like, like there, there's a kill in that movie where, like, you have this, like, character that you just do not like at all throughout the movie, and then... Gustav gets a hold of him and he just like pops his head like a pimple and then like like I could not help thinking in my head that is how you kill a character that you write like that. Then then we have Rogue and yeah this was the one with those little side bits that were apparently torn off at some point but yeah Rogue from the director of Wolf Creek Dimension Extreme really cool flick and this is actually the copy I bought when Movie Mania was still around, and I, I specifically bought it because I I saw it in this, I saw it once when I was looking through the when I was looking through the place and I didn't have the time to rent it, and I, I of course wanted to see this at some point because I heard really good things about it, and so when I managed to snag this to be able to keep, I was like, oh yeah, here we go, and I immediately took it home and I immediately watched it and. Man, was it a really good flick. I highly recommend this and for anyone who hasn't seen it. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Alrighty, people, and that is all for my DVDs, so now I'm going to go out to my living room, and I'm going to pull up the DVR, and we'll see that movie on the DVR. So, see you guys in a bit. Sammy? If you, if you hear someone going crazy, that would be our pug. But... Meantime, let me go down because I actually have a lot on my DVR, some of which I haven't even watched yet. But on here we have Robocroc, Sammy. Again, that, that would be my little anxious pug. But yeah, Robocroc. Th- this was just a movie that like I I caught once when it aired on the Sci-Fi Channel. And also, if you hear that sound, I don't know, I don't know exactly what that is. It's just something in my mom's room that I can't turn off. But yeah, Robocroc. Pretty, pretty good film for what it was. I, I actually, it actually wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. Anyways, that is actually it for my alligator slash crocodile flicks. So, once again, you might see an update to this movie in the future, just because there are still several flicks that I need to see. But it would only be like just like a few more movies. It wouldn't be that drastic of a dra- that drastic of a new list. But either way. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoy my content. And as always, I will see you in the next video.